And welcome to She Shaves with your host, Jill. Yes, indeed, I'm Jill. There's nobody else here, so I must be Jill, right? Okay, let's get on it. I am going to be doing an unboxing, and I am going to be using the products that I unbox. Uh, first, however, um, I had uh, a couple of uh, mail, uh, shave mail calls, and I was the winner on the Rich Man Shaving Group, uh, where Brent uh, Pantoja, um was uh, sponsoring it, and he's a gentleman, a young gentleman, who uh, is very much into scents, and he's a, a rather new wet shaver, too, and he had a contest where he was giving away um, some uh, scents that he had, and unfortunately, in the package, it leaked, so now these weren't full to begin with, but the package leaked, and it distorted the labels and stuff like that, but um, and these were not full bottles, but uh, there's plenty of great scents still left in these bottles here. And then he also sent along some one ounce, I'm assuming these are one ounce, I don't know, uh, samples of uh, fragrances. So again, thank you so much for that, Brent, and I can't wait to use those. Um, I'll be using one um, after this shave. So let's do my other unboxing. Now I got this from... And I can't wait to do this. I got this from um, Italian Barber. And um, I did start to open it. And then I said, no, 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 no. Do an unboxing and then do a shave with the product. So that's what I'm doing. So I closed it up without even looking inside. So let's reopen it. With my handy dandy uh, scissors. And I can't wait to use the products in this. So, one of the um, items in it, and this is a brand new blade, so I'll be reviewing that. And it's the uh, Inoxidable Elios Blades. So, I'll be uh, putting one of those in there, in uh, my uh, razor. And let's see, I want this to fall. Now this is called the Unlabeled Bundle Pack uh, from Italian Barber. And <laughs> I love it. He sent me a little note and said, Enjoy, Jill. So this is the Razor Rock Unlabeled Product Bundle Pack. And they did this as a, a test. And just as the, um, where's my scissors? Okay. Just as uh, mentioned, unlabeled bundle pack, they wanted to do it to get feedback from people uh, without any marketing bias. Uh, we're all affected by marketing bias, right? I mean, you see this, and it's a familiar label. Um... You see this, and without even reading what it is, just from the, the coloring of the package, most of us know what that is from seeing other YouTube videos, right? So these are totally unlabeled bottles, and the bundle pack comes with, it comes with the aftershave, which this aftershave is a very cologne scent. So that's, oh God, I can even smell that. And let's see what else I have in here. I don't think there's any other, sometimes they throw in freebies, but I don't see any other freebies in here. I think it's an interesting uh, thing that they're, that they're doing with this to um, get impressions uh, without any labeling on it. But they do say on the website, um, that it, um, they do give away the scent. 
but they're doing an experiment to see without any packaging, uh, you know, it's unlabeled. And they wanted non-biased feedback without marketing bias. So in this box is, oh, that's very nice. Oh, more scissor work. Oh. Yeah, right. This is nice. Wow, this is very nice. It's a glass jar that it comes in. Very nice. And it says Razor Lock un Unlabeled Shaving Soap. What's cool about this is that it is their new base of tallow and clay. So I can't wait to use it. Um, I haven't seen any other reviews on this particular um, unlabeled bundle pack, so I'm excited to do it. It uh, says on their web, it's uh, tallow and clay. This is their first tallow soap base that they've done. And it's uh, lightly scented, um, and, but the um, aftershave is cologne strength, they say. And it's a uh, aromatic fougere. And it's inspired by 1881 men by Saruti. So, um, like I say, the aftershave is supposed to be cologne strength. So, let's open this up. Very nice glass jar. How many ounces is that? Uh, eight and a half ounces. Wow, eight and a half ounces. And the total for both the aftershave and the soap is only $22.99. So, it's on sale. They wanted to put it on sale for people to test it. So, can't go wrong with that deal. Alrighty, so today I am going to be using one of the um, uh, Elios blades that they have included. This is going to be a long video. Let me unpack that. And I'm going to be using my Future, my Mercure Future. And I'm going to be setting it on setting 3 when I get this blade loaded. So, let's see. I'm so excited. Two new things to try. Three, three new things, actually. The soap and the aftershave and a new blade to me. Okay. Open up. Okay, the blade is uh, labeled Elios Enox, and I'm going to put that in my Mercure Future. Carefully load this Mercure Future. And let's check the alignment. Very good. And I am going to put this on setting three. Now, I have some darn ingrown hairs down here from uh, uh, past shaves this week. And I rarely get them, but I'm pretty sure I got them from using my uh, straight razor, my new straight razor that I have. So... All right, I'm going to be using some distilled water um, to um, wet my brush. Because I have hard water, and I've always been meaning to um, always use distilled water, but I don't. And I'm going to spray a little bit on top of the soap. Just a little bit. And my brush I'm going to use, if you guys remember, when I started uh, restoring old uh, vintage brushes, this is a um, uh, 200T Everready. And um, if you remember, I call this one Weebles wobble but they don't fall down <laughs> what I was trying to do is I had seen some videos of 
uh, using uh, boiling water to remove a knot. Unfortunately, the knot in this was not, it was epoxy, and, and it's not acrylic. So that's the only one it really works on. So it misshaped <laughs> the brush. Oh, whoa, I turned my light off. Uh, it misshaped the brush because this is what it's supposed to look like. So I named this Weevil. <laughs> so let me add some more water to the brush. I'm going to use that distilled water in the brush again. Okay. Let me get rid of this pair of scissors here. It's in the way. And I'll start loading up. Well, already it's starting to produce. And this jar is filled to the top. That's a lot of soap, eight and a half ounces. And that whole thing, $22.99 for the soap and the aftershave. I'll put the link down below. That's a lot of soap. Eight and a half ounce jar. I didn't remember that it had that much. I'll put that jar down because that's glass, very slippery. Let me re-wet my face. Oh my God, does that smell good. Very aromatic. Wow. Oh, this new base is great. Oh, I'm excited. Tallow and clay. Like I say, I think I'm the first one to uh, review the soap and aftershave. Oh, lather flying all over the place. Oh my goodness, I really like this new base of tallow and clay. Oh man. Oh, it smells so good. Oh God. That is giving a nice lather. Wow. I am so glad that they released a new base with tallow and clay. Look at that lather. I bet you I can add even more water. Oh, don't put it in the sink water. Use my distilled water. This is a bargain. If I were you, I would not wait. I would jump on getting this. Like I say, it's that Italian barber called the Unlabeled Bundle Pack. Wow. Did I say wow enough? <laughs> okay, let's get on with the future. Let me double check my setting. Yes, it's a number three. And it's very even. I wanted to use this uh, future because it is so efficient. And with the ingrown hairs down here, I didn't want to have to agitate it with a whole bunch of passes. Very nice. Oh. 
Oh, these blades are nice. ingrown hairs there. Okay, let's not overdo it there. Let me rinse and we'll do another lathering. Where are we at? Wow, we're almost BBS already. I'm glad I chose the uh, future to use. But I'm going to be cheated out of uh, multiple extra passes, aren't I? <laughs> what a combination. That blade is really nice. Everything in this shave is great. The soap. The new base tallow and clay is amazing. I have a lot of the Razor Rock uh, regular base soaps. They're always a bargain. Oh, you need to get you some. I'm going to go across. I'm going to move this down to a number two. Because it got so much of it on that first pass. The slickness on this soap is wonderful. This razor is gliding effortlessly. Almost caught myself over there. Oh, don't wait to the end of the video or wait until it's posted up because it's going to be a couple hours. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so good. The residual is great. I can go over areas that I've already shaved, which is something newbies shouldn't do, but I am testing and reviewing the soap. And it is marvelous for that. Wow. I'm already so close, but you know me. I'm going to go for a third pass. Of course I am. The scent on this is great, and I love fougeres. And so I was doubly excited to, to try their new formula of tallow and clay. But I love fougere scent, so I was tickled pink when I found out that's what it was. The take on uh, 1881 Men by Ceruti. A 
Elios, Elios blades are great. So I'm glad it came with a five pack of those. I'm on frame, aren't I? much soap I still have left in there. Look at the peaks on that. If you don't think that's a good soap, there's something wrong with you. pass with the grain. That is a clean up. And a little across. Oh, amazing. This was a triple play winner. I am telling you. I'll be right back. I'm going to rinse my face. Okay, let me cold water rinse. doesn't need to be. Okay. Put the eyeballs back on. Skin is still damp. Oh my goodness. That is so buttery smooth. The aftershave feel is amazing. Uh, $22.99, you cannot go wrong. Eight and a half ounce jar of soap. And the aftershave. Let me do another cold water rinse. Oh, man, was that great. Okay, let's try this aftershave. Again, unlabeled. Let's see. Oh, there was a little leakage, so I can't see all of the... Um, I cannot see all of the ingredients on it. But, let's shake it up. And like I say, this aftershave is supposed to be cologne strength. 
It's got a nice restrictor on it. The juice doesn't come out too fast. Oh, th I'll tell you, this is a very good dupe of 1881 men, my Saruti. That was a totally enjoyable shave. So again, I used my Macare Future, set on three and then set on two. I used the brand new Elios blade that came with um, my order. And of course the soap was the, oh, <laughs> it's so slippery, was the unlabeled bundle pack with eight and a half ounces of soap and the aftershave and those Elios blades. So get you some $22.99, come on, with that new base. Wonderful products. So with that, I'm going to beg you, I'm going to beg you, I'm going to cajole to uh, subscribe to the channel, darn it. <laughs> and also, give me a thumbs up. Not enough of those, and I want comments. I want you guys to share your thoughts. If you have any questions, please put them down below or send me an email um, if you'd rather do that. But subscribe, thumbs up, and hit the little ding dong so you uh, get to see any new videos that I post. So on that note, I cannot say enough about this uh, Italian Barber's uh, uh, Unlabeled Bundle Pack and the Elios Blades that came with it. So have a great week coming up. and. You guys know I love you, right? Right. Bye-bye.